Now, Muldrow is one of the first locations I think a lot of people spawn in, and it's not a bad call by any means, but I mean, I said it in my very first Zomboid video, it's a bit of an industry secret. There's still zombies here. So let's go for my favorite spot to put roots down in Muldrow. I would be remiss if I did not talk about McCoy's logging. It's not necessarily on my list because I like projects, I just don't like that big of a project. This was also the resting spot of my blind character who I might be returning to that run, who knows, I might stream soon. <laughs> I don't know. Plenty of tools in here, plenty of things to disassemble, you're gonna be alright. Now here in Muldrow we do have two gated communities, sort of. There's this right here which is technically what's considered the gated community by the map project. But down here there's another gated community and a little bit more of a high class area. And there is a little pond nearby, so if you need access to infinite water, right there, just choose this gated community. But the gated community up north does have some benefit, such as putting you next to not one, but two farms not that far from each other. I, there might be a third, don't quote me on that, it's been a minute. But these should be ready to harvest as soon as you get there, allegedly, they may have changed that. There's also plenty of sheds in the way. And it gets better because they give you a water barrel for free. This is one of the nice ones with a lot of water capacity. So absolutely abuse that. This gated community is a bit harder to defend, but I think that's a bit of a trade-off with the, you know, literal buckets of food you just got. Moving up way north and prepping for a bit in the future when we get some animals is this farmhouse. This is one of the first spots my friends took me to base in, like day one of getting the game. This is where my friends were at. So it's got a, a warm place in my heart and then Kyle burned it down. But anyway, I don't think anything really beats country living, you know what I mean? Nice and quiet, the skinwalkers keep you company. But here we've got a pretty sizable shed, a chicken coop that's most likely going to get replaced when the update comes. So much farmland pre-made, just aesthetically pleasing, not to mention acres upon acres of land. And what's better than owning land? And once again, this is another spot with two floors, and as you know, if you have two floors and a sledgehammer, you have an impenetrable base. If you'd like to be very future-minded and be wary of that update coming, then I would highly suggest this base, especially if you want to keep animals, because look at all this land you got! There is a bar up north that's a bit bigger than the Rusty Rifle, but like I said, I like projects, but not big projects, I get burnt out easy. So we have the Rusty Rifle here, and this one, again, not day one, but like day four or five. This is where my friends and I based up, and we had a ton of crates just in the back, full of ammo. We were going to the Rosewood military base, and we were horrifically disappointed. Well, I was anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I guess we're not coming back, huh? I know, I'm still bitter. I'm not over it yet. That aside, this tavern is a fantastic place to base. For all the reasons that I've mentioned before, honestly, you've got a good shot at, at, at finding a car here, which is, you know, pretty poggers. There's going to be a good reserve of water because of the bathrooms and the sink and whatnot. You've got a little mini fridge here, which is fantastic. Alcohol. Okay. Need I say more? and a second story with a ton of rooms in it. This place comfortably fits five and uncomfortably fits 30. And just down the road from that is a gas station. What more could you ask for? And let's be honest here, we all know what kind of man I am. I love me some warehouses. I know I said I don't like big projects, but I'm a hypocrite, so what? Although the warehouse up in Riverside is a little easier to block off and defend, I think this one is more worthwhile to block off and defend only because you are so close to the rest of town. Up in Riverside, you're a good chunk away. Like you are, there's a distance between you and society, which we truly live in one. But here, you're not too far from home, you know what I mean? And if that set of warehouses didn't tickle your fancy, if you don't really want to put up with putting the effort into blocking off your base, this one is already blocked off for you. You're probably gonna have some zombies in here to mess with, but I mean, it's there, okay? Like, what more could you ask for than putting no effort in. And of course, I've gotta talk about it. This motel, while I don't think it's a great base, because again, big project, not a fan. This is a fantastic spot to farm carpentry. Now, I plan to eventually take that, that test I did and put it into a real world scenario where I actually time how long it takes me to level up carpentry, because I got 11 minutes of just pure reading and disassembling, but regardless, it, it's fine. You can go here to see how I did that. Thank you, Swerve, Sean, TC Chop, and Zaf. Thank you, Ariad, Swerve again, PRK800, and Blobo. 